I started running when I was in my mid 40s, about five years ago. And um, I, I came into it um, straight off the couch. Glenda Reith knows it's tough to take those first steps. She says gyms, martial arts, and other attempts didn't keep her motivated, but running changed her life. From the 5K to the 10K to the half marathon, and I just completed my first marathon in December when, just before I turned 50. She said she did quit a couple of times, but she found running in a fitness program through Fleet Feet has kept her on track. It's the social aspect that kept me coming back, and those friends were calling me saying, Glenda, what are you doing? You need to get back out here and run. According to local fitness experts, Reith's example is a good one to follow. So we need to make sure we continue to make it fun and make exercise something we always look forward to. Because when working out is too much work, it's too easy to quit. You can make it a game. You can compete against others. You can have an accountability partner work out with you. Um, have something that's going to get you out the door. Also, many people fall off the New Year's resolution wagon because they expect too much too fast. You know, a lot of people set big long-term goals. And then when they don't see results right away, they get discouraged. Keeping goals manageable, staying motivated, and having fun. Three factors that are a constant in most fitness experts' advice. At Fleet Feet, they say it's the secret to the success of their running programs. We've seen an 88 to 89 percent graduation rate, which is unbelievable. They organize groups from all levels, walkers to marathoners. It stops being uh, work, and it starts being fun. It stops being, I'm just going to work out, to, I got to go see my friends. Another recommendation, it's never too late to get started. I think the only run I've ever regretted is the one I didn't take. Brianne Pomerini, 2 News, works for you.